We've all been there all of a sudden. Your tooth starts to hurt, so you go to the dentist to find out what's wrong. Joining me now is Dr. Felipe Porto, a dentist at the Yukon Health Center. And you, know, you had said that the pain that we feel might not be just from a toothache, as we think it might be. Correct. Uh, there are possibly like six possible toothaches that are not related at all with the tooth. Uh, probably the most common one would be neuropathic pain. In other words, it's the nerve that hurts. And the patient refer refers the pain as being from the tooth. It's not related at all with the tooth. It's the nerve. It's the wiring that kind of hurts. Another one is muscle toothache. So the muscle can hurt and refer pain to the tooth. And the patient can come to the dentist referring pain to the tooth, wants to treat the tooth, when in fact it's the muscle that is the source of the pain. Wow. And another thing that you had mentioned is also, and this one seems funny to me, but you know, you said the tooth could be affected by the sinuses. And I know a lot of people probably don't realize, they're like, my sinuses are up here, my, my pain is here. Yeah, exactly. Mostly the upper teeth, they can refer pain coming from the sinus. So on the allergy season, that's really common. So patients with sinusitis, they can refer pain as the tooth. And they come to the dentist and they swear that the pains come from the tooth when in fact has nothing to do whatsoever as a tooth problem. What should people watch out for? They should be convinced from the dentist that in fact they have a tooth problem. If the dentist say like let's try to take uh, uh, to do a root canal treatment, let's try to extract the tooth and see if the pain goes away, that's not the correct way to do it. The best way is if they can prove that there is something wrong with the tooth, yes, let's treat the tooth. And when do people actually go and see the dentist? Because, you know, if someone's tooth hurts, they might say, let me take some over-the-counter painkillers, mm -hmm. let me see if that helps. At what point should you really seek professional help? I would say sooner than later, because as you wait, is that be the problem can become chronic. And when it becomes chronic, to revert the problem takes longer. And that means suffering to the patient. And if you don't go sooner, you know, rather than later, are there potential problems that could, you know, kind of get worse and worse over that time? Yeah, for example, if the patient has a, a neuropathic pain, to treat neuropathic pain, you need to use medications. When it becomes chronic, it's kind of challenging to revert that. The same with the muscle problem. It can refer pain to the tooth, but also can refer pain to some other spots. And as you wait, you can have some other uh, pain other than just the toothache. Well, thank you so much for My all pleasure. that information. We appreciate it. And still to come...